Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily Freibler. So today's video, I did this makeup look for you guys. I kind of just played around with a new technique and um, came up with this look. I really, really, really love it. If you've been watching my videos and my Snapchats, or not Snapchats, Insta stories, I don't Snapchat anymore, Insta stories, then you know that I've kind of just been doing the same makeup look over and over again. I just really like it and I've been sticking with it. This is not really that far from it, but I'm definitely wearing eyeshadow and it's a little bit different. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up like uh, always and um, let's get started. All right, you guys, hair is back. We are ready. I think I'm gonna start with my eyes today because I'm doing an inspired look from Taylor or the Taylor on YouTube. I watched one of her videos recently and she did this beautiful like brown kind of smoky eye but it was like really focused on the edge here and it like was more rounded and I just really want to try that style because it looked beautiful. I will try and find like a screenshot of something of that look because I went on her Instagram and I didn't see it. So I'll put it up on the screen for you guys. This is what I'm going for. So you have like a reference. Okay. Okay. To start off though, I am going to do primer just so it can like sit on the skin while I'm doing my eye makeup. So for my primer or just kind of base, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion in the shade 901 Fair Glow. I haven't used this in a while. Um, and I'm excited to put it back on my face. So I'm just going to put this kind of all over, honestly. Um, I'm not really too worried about my blemish areas. I mean, I'm not going to purposely put them on blemishes, but if it gets there, who cares kind of thing. Next, I'm going to be using the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. And I'm going to put this on my eyelids. And also under my eye, I am going to be using Bare Minerals Powder Foundation today, so I like to conceal my under eyes before I use that anyway, so I might as well just um, conceal while I'm all also doing my, you know, lids. I'm going to take my Sigma F80 Kabuki Brush. I am a Sigma affiliate. I will leave it linked down below, and I have a discount code where you can get 10% off, so... I'll leave all that information down below. I highly recommend this. It's probably, I, I don't know if I can really say it's my favorite, but I think it's my favorite foundation brush I've ever used. It just is so beautiful. It applies it beautifully and um, I, I love it. It doesn't leave streaks like a lot of other brushes do. It really gives good coverage and it's amazing. Oh, and just really quick sidetrack. I washed all of my makeup brushes yesterday if you are wondering how I wash my makeup brushes, I have a full blog post. I'll also link that down below. But the one thing I changed is I am using the Sigma like cleaning brush mat thing that suctions to my sink. Oh my God, what a lifesaver, you guys. Like seriously helps to get all the stuff out of the brush so quickly and easily. I don't have to like sit there and scrub it on my hand anymore. My hands aren't as pruney. It made cleaning literally all of my brushes, seriously, like. All of these, these, and these, and these in 20 minutes. I cleaned them in 20 minutes. It was not hard at all. It was freaking phenomenal. So if you're looking for a good like brush cleaning mat, highly recommend that. And obviously you can get money off of that as well. I'll link those products down below for you guys. Okay, to set everything really quickly, I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder in the shade Neutral Buff, and just this big fluffy area brush, and just set those areas. For eyeshadow today, I'm gonna to be using this palette that I've been raving about on my blog and on Instagram and everything like that. This is the ColourPop Double Entendre Shadow Palette. You could get this for $13 from Ulta if you use the $3.50 off $15 because it is $16. It is amazing and a great neutral palette. What I'm gonna do is take this really light creamy orange shade right here and I'm gonna go on the outer part of the eye and just sweep this lightly on the outer corner and then into the crease area. I'm gonna try and keep this look very rounded and nice. So wish me luck. Okay, should I zoom you guys in? I'm gonna take that creamsicle-y color and really focus it on the outer corner and then sweeping it 
into the inner part of the eye. So the main thing I noticed with this look is it's more rounded and it's focused really on the outer part of the eye. She only has a tiny bit of darkness going towards the inner part of the eye. It's really concentrated heavily right there. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, now I'm gonna take this like very neutral brown shade right here on my brush and this is just a fluffy blending brush from Wet n Wild. You can take any blending brush that you like. I'm going to do the same thing. Just really lightly circle motions right on that outer V. Let's go for the smaller blending brush from Wet n Wild as well. And really just kind of get close to the outer part here. So I just basically place on the outer part of the eye and then slowly blend and then bring it up. Okay, I'm going to take a clean blending brush, clean, and just really buff out the edge right there. Even take a little bit of the cream shade in the palette and just blend the top. I feel like the goal for this is to just slowly build it up. Or not the goal, but the the um, trick, I guess. Okay, now I'm gonna take the Sigma Diffused Crease Brush. This is the E38, yeah, E38. Now we're gonna take the dark brown in the palette right here, on the outer part here, and just slowly wiggle it back and forth, and do circular motions on the outer V. Also gonna bring it closer to the lash line right there. Okay, and then take the other brush and go back in the light brown shade. Just blend. Okay, before I go in with another shade, I just want to, or like the other eye, I want to finish this one so I can see if I'm actually on the right track or not. Okay, I'm gonna take this flat brush here from Wet n Wild, and this is the Casey Holmes Smashbox Spotlight Palette in the shade Pearl. And this is what um, Taylor said she used, and I happen to have it. So I'm gonna take this light shade, I'm just basically dragging a little bit of color in, but not a lot. I feel like I need a little bit more warmth, so I'm going to go in with this orangey shade here and just kind of go over that area. Okay, I'm going to wet my brush and go in with that Spotlight Palette. Right? Isn't that what it's called? Yeah. I just feel like that'll make it pop, and I want to kind of do almost a cut crease with this. I think I like it. I just don't know if I really did the eye shape that Taylor did, you know? But I tried, and um, I do like it. It's just not as curved as hers. I just haven't worked on my eyeshadow game in a long time, so I feel like I'm a little rusty. Okay, so that is this eye so far. I'm going to do the other eye, and then I'll be back. I'm going to use my Catrice Brow Filler Perfecting and Shaping Gel. Actually, no, I'm going to do foundation first. I'm going to go in with the Bare Minerals Blemish Rescue Skin Clearing Loose Powder Foundation. I wear the shade Fairly Light most of the time. Hopefully this matches me right now. I feel like it will. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush, I think is what it's called. Um, or Ultimate Foundation Brush, something like that. So the foundation is now on. I look at this glow just from that L'Oreal um, primer. It looks so good. So I just built that up to a really nice coverage. So I am going to use the eyebrow filler perfecting and shaping gel from Catrice. 
So I'm just going in and filling in the brows really nice and easy. I might go back in and define them a little bit once I do the rest of my makeup to, to see if it looks defined enough with it being a little bit more heavy eye makeup and stuff. Um, but that is the brows. I love this stuff so much. I can't rave it about it enough. I seriously use it every day and it's so quick, so easy, but I have nice full brows from it. It's amazing. Now we're going to go in with bronzer. I'm sorry, you guys, but I'm still going to use my butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. I've just been loving it and I'm kind of stuck in a rut with makeup. I just like the things I like and I might as well use them to get a really good effect and I feel like a lot of people don't buy a lot of makeup anyway so I like to use things that I feel like a lot of people have you know this brush I love this is the full blush brush from eco tools it is phenomenal oh I love freshly clean makeup brushes they perform so much better really need to get in the habit of doing my brush cleaning every single week um i'm really bad about it even though i tell other people to do it because i know i should do it and i want them to do it <laughs> today i'm going to be a little bit more precise than i usually am and i'm going to go in with the morphe m504 and i'm going to take the butter bronzer and kind of contour my nose a little bit so just going to be a little bit more precise with it not taking a lot of product at all just a little bit I go in with the same brush and go underneath my lip. I love that trick to create a fuller looking lip. It is beautiful. For blush, what should I use? Should I use this one from Milani? Or should I use Mellow Wine from Wet n Wild? I think I'm going to use Mellow Wine. Gosh, I cannot get over that L'Oreal underneath the Bare Minerals Foundation, it just makes my face look so radiant. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of this blush. There's so much pigmentation. Oh yeah, I like this one a lot. Then I am going to go back into the Casey, Home, Casey Holmes palette with Smashbox, this highlight palette and take the Wet n Wild brush that I love to highlight with. I like to take the middle and this one. Those are my two favorites. I feel like I'm not talking as much because I'm just like so into doing this makeup right now because I haven't been loving doing a full face lately and now um, this is just making me so happy i'm like i'm loving it now i am going to do a slight little bit of liner i'm not going to do a wing or anything just something to go across the upper lash line i'm going to use i forgot to say i'm going to use the essence super last eyeliner in deep black i love this stuff it's so beautiful and easy to work with all right, while that's drying, I'm going to do my mascara, and um, I'm just going to use the Big Shot from Maybelline. I'm going to coat my top lashes. I'm not going to curl them right now because I am going to be putting on falsies. Okay, I'm kind of like loving it without falsies, so we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it today. I don't know why, but I never really like liner and... Just my normal lashes, but I'm loving it. Now I'm really regretting not uh, curling my lashes. I'm sorry, but I'm just loving the CoverGirl Exhibitionist lipsticks. I know I've used them nonstop, but um, I'll try and use another shade, except for the lip liner. I'm going to still use the lip liner in Caramel Nude. It is just the best lip liner for my lips. I just love it. Okay, I'm just going to be extra and use two shades. This is the shade Caramel Kiss. And I'm going to put this one just all over the lips. Then I'm going to take this really light shade called Dolce de Leche. Look how light that is. And just go in the center. All right, you guys. So this is the finished look. I feel like it is really nice because it's more glam, but it's not like unachievable glam. You know what I mean? I don't have any false lashes on. It's just like the upper eye 
face and it's really glowy and beautiful and natural kind of ish looking um i am kind of obsessed with it and i'm so glad i kind of played around with makeup and like a little bit of a new technique. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in a video very, very soon. Bye guys.